Hi, cooking babes. It's time. Today, we are going to unbox the Kenwood Cooking Chef. I've had it for a couple weeks. It came in this big, huge box, 67 pounds, and I can barely get it on the, ca uh, on the table. But we're going to open it up. Eric gave me this big, huge Victorinox. I don't know what this thing is to get this box open. And I have a little box cutter, right? And it's time to free the Kenwood. So join me as we unbox a Kenwood cooking chef. So I know you guys are probably thinking, what is a Kenwood cooking chef? I've wanted one of these mixers for quite some time. What's unique about this mixer is it has an induction cooker in it. So you can make soups and stews right in the mixer. You can proof your dough. You can melt chocolate. You can heat stuff to make a, a meringue. You can make risotto. Um, yes, risotto, because risotto you have to constantly stir. So you put it in a cooking chef, you turn it on low, and you periodically add your uh, chicken broth to make your risotto. So I thought it was really, really unique, and I've wanted one for a long time. The problem is the Kenwood Cooking Chef was over $2,000, and there was no way I was going to get one. And they've slowly been coming down in price. I think they've been about $1,100 for a long time. Well, someone in the, um, in the Facebook group, if you're not in our group, it's facebook.com slash group slash Amy Learns to Cook. Someone had mentioned that this was on sale and Sherlock Tob was closing them out and they had six of them. So they were on um, their website and on Amazon for $5.99. So, you know, I had to get one. $5.99 is still a lot, but since I've wanted them and since they were so expensive, I just had to get it. Immediately after I bought one, I bought mine on Amazon, but it was fulfilled by Sherlock Tom. Immediately after Sherlock Tom uh, sold out of them and it reverted back to Amazon's, um, Amazon's mixers, it basically the price went up to, six, uh, to $8.50. So I got in there right on time. Thumbs up to uh, my cooking group and everybody that's been listening to me going on and on about this mixer. I got it two or three weeks ago. Haven't had a chance to get it out of the box, but today is the day. So let's wrestle this baby out of this big, huge box. Okay, guys, so before we even get started here, I want to make a disclaimer. This is going to be some serious mixer geeking. So either, you know, turn your volume off or whatever, because me, I'm a mixer freak, and this is going to be mixer geeking to a whole new level. So... Let's start geeking! Yeah. Yay. Oh, here we go! Look at that, a hundred dollar wine voucher. So here's a little, oh my gosh. This is the new seven cup food processor from KitchenAid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See what they, do. oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Don't tell anybody you saw me do that. Oh my God, look at this! Look at it! Okay, let's get it out of the box the rest of the way. Oh, lovely assistant. <laughs> do you have any intentions of returning this where we would need the shipping box? No. Uh. 
Wow! This thing is awesome, guys. Ah! Okay, looks like we can slide it out now. Holy Toledo. Don't attempt this yourselves at home. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Pull it. Ah. All right, step one, it's on the floor. Okay, boo, come on, get that big box out of the way. Come on, you've been through Christmas before, you know how to do it. Work that box, baby. <laughs> yeah. uh, you look like an amateur. Oh. 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 Wow. So this is the Kenwood Cooking Chef. It is called the Kitchen Machine. The model number is KM080. It is 800 watt mixing, 1150 cooking it has 7.1 quart cold capacity and 3.2 quart hot capacity so it comes with five accessories the k beater which is your flat beater the whisk the dough hook the stirring tool when you're using it as a cooker and the flexible beater it also comes with the blender with the glass bowl it comes with a food processor it comes with a splash guard and this you also put on there for heating it comes with the steaming basket the spatula and a heat mat this box is just like a size of a volkswagen it has a five-year warranty so the cooking range is 70 degrees to 285 degrees Fahrenheit, which is perfect for low cooking and for higher cooking, right? Um, it has an induction burner at the bottom. It has special speeds for stirring when you're heating, which is great for risotto. And it has a three hour timer on it. So if you want to make your risotto, you can just put the timer on it and then come by every once in a while and put more of your liquid in there. Okay, so this is how the Kenwood sort of operates. Um, the induction burner is down here at the bottom. Here's your bowl. This is your pouring shield. And when you're cooking, you're gonna have this heat shield on there above your pouring shield. It also has these different hubs it has one on the front and two here these are faster hubs and this is a slower hub so there's three hubs and um, you also have your dial it has a electronic dial um, electronic indicator it has a fold function it has a pulse function it has eight speeds and um, it has a safety interlock some of the accessories that you can buy for the Kenwood, these are all extra. You have a pasta roller, a pasta maker. So this is like a press. So if you're gonna make noodles and stuff like that, um, this presses the dough as opposed to rolling it. Um, a food grinder, a pasta cutter. So this is will roll and this will cut your, uh, your uh, fettuccine or whatever you want. This is a fruit press and a food grinder. So this is like a meat grinder. They call it a food grinder. This one here looks like a slicer shredder. They're calling it a food grinder on here, but it's really a slicer shredder. It has a food processor. This one comes in this box. It has a blender with a glass bowl. This one comes with it. It has a blender with a metal bowl. This one's extra. A citrus press to uh, juice your oranges and stuff. It has a continuous juicer. So this would be, you know, to make juice. It has a mini mill. And it has 
a slicer grater. Oh, one thing I noticed is there's a culinary club that you can join, and it says upon registration, receive a stainless steel cooking chef bowl. Awesome. So, ding! It's time to open it! I've been waiting like three weeks, two, three weeks, so here we go. Ooh. Look at this. This is a little thing that explains the history of Kenwood. The 1950s, the 60s, the 70s. Kind of interesting that there wasn't a lot of change between the 60s and the 70s. Uh, maybe they put a hub on the front. I don't know. 2004 and then present. Ha <laughs> ha! 60 years of kitchen machines. Ooh, yeah, boy. So here's our instruction manual. Um, it has a diagram of all the accessories. Let's see what else it has. It has a lot of instruction. I'm going to have to go through this uh, and figure out how to use this thing. Um, has this for your registration, more product registration. Talks about the attachments. Um, this is instructions for your steamer basket and tech support. So let's open our first little box here. What is this? <laughs> oh, let's see what we got. Oh, we got, looks like the pouring shield and the mat. So this is the mat. It's a heating mat. I don't know if this goes into the base of the mixer or what. So we'll see about that. Um, here's our pouring shield. Wow. So here's our pouring shield. This is the little door. And here we have, this is a heat shield. So when you're running this mixer with a heater on, this goes, but that's how that goes. And then the mixer is up here. This is to keep the heat in. Okay, so let's get the next box out of here. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, okay. So it looks like this is our food processor. So let's see what we got here. We get all these parts out of here. So it looks like this is our uh, bowl to the food processor. Nice. Here's our blade and it has some little covers right now on here on the blade. This is the food processor. Interesting handle on it. It's kind of, I don't know, the handle looks like it might be metal. Um, that's interesting. And we have our parts for the lid. This is our small pusher. This is the large pusher. One of the things I can tell you is the pusher is narrow. So that's, you know, you can't put big, huge, wide potatoes or anything in there. And this goes here. So that's the food processor. This is, this looks like the stem for the food processor. Uh, let's see what we got here. Very sharp blades. So yeah, here's the blades to the food processor. So this goes on here. This goes on the mixer. And this goes here. And then your blade goes here. So that is a slicing blade. This is a Shredding has a three on it. This looks like a grating or ice crusher, maybe grating. This looks like a fine shredder. 
This looks like another slicer. This is a five. This other slicer is a four. No, that's just the blade number. Um, this is a thin slicer and this is a thick slicer. This right here is a julienne or a french fry cutter. Okay, so here is our blender. The blender has 1.2 liter hot and 1.6 liter cold capacity. Thermal resist, hot and cold. Um, yeah, so let's get it open. I mean, this mixer seems to come with a lot, but also the original price on this thing was $2,000. So um, there's our instruction manual. Well, that thing is heavy. Hover. <laughs> oh, okay. You can take the blade off. I really like that when I have that like that. Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, <laughs> eh, this says your max 120, 1200 milliliters. So so let's see here. Here's our blender. It's definitely a glass jar. We're going to put the blade in here. I wonder why they have the blade like that. Um, this is the base. Ooh. Oh, this is a very heavy jar. Um, this is our lid with the K on it, and there's the lid. So that's the blender. So we got this little box. What is this? What is it, boo? It's your five-year warranty. It's your spatula, yay! yay. Okay, we got a big box here. <laughs> Wow, okay. What do you think is in here? A cookbook or two? A cookbook? Uh -oh. Ooh, oh, our accessories. Okay, so they always give you this wrench. Um, this is to lower, raise and lower the um, beater. beater or the whisk. Sometimes you might need that if it's too high for um, um, the, bowl. the bowl. Yeah, yeah, something like the bowl. Okay. Oh, all right. Wow. How heavy, how heavy is that? This thing is a beast. Look at that. This is our K beater. Okay, it's the K. Wow, it's stainless steel. Um, it is heavy. Wow, this is a big sucker. <laughs> um, what do we got here? Ugh. This looks like the dough hook. Dough hook. Wow. Yeah, this is like classic Kenwood. Kenwood has awesome attachments. Solid stainless steel. Mm -hmm -hmm. Tasty, right? Tasty. Oh. This is hard work. So this is our flex edge beater. One of the things I can say, oh, look at that, it looks like. One of the say about Kenwood is their flex edge beaters always come with like the flex part comes off. I don't know how these go on. I'm gonna have to read it. Which one goes on where? But their their flex edge things come off, which is kind of weird to me. Hmm. 
Um, what do we got here? Wow. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at the whisk. This thing is heavy. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. Sweet. And this appears to be, oh, this is a little cleaning brush. This appears to be the stirrer for when you're using the heating part. Look at that monster. Um, I don't know how this works, but this is a stirrer when you're cooking something in there. Okay, so in here we have some documentation, which is pretty cool. Um, this has a serious... Uh, owner's manual here. Um, it opens up like this and it has a series of books in it that talk about um, in the pack how to use the beater, um, how to put it together. This is quick start guide. This is my first recipes. Strawberry jam, steamed salmon, beef bourguignon, bourguignon risotto. And this here is attachments. That is really, really nice. I like it when stuff has really nice uh, manuals. I don't like it when stuff has little junky things. This one has a really nice one. Also comes with a cookbook, recipes for the cooking shack. Nice. That is sweet. And it's a really nice book. Wow. Meat and poultry. Wow, this is this is really nice. This right here is just this is like, uh, this is really nice. Manual and cookbook. There we go. <laughs> there is the star of the show, folks. Well, it took us 15 minutes to get to it. Yeah. This mixer is an adventure. Let's just say that. Oh, yeah. yeah, Eric's going to have to get this out for me. I'm not a moving guy. I just play one on TV. Oh, oh. oh. Lord have mercy. Oh. Okay, guys, so we moved everything into the kitchen, and I will tell you this. This machine is incredible, and it's intimidating, and there's a lot here. And for me to say that I can just like jump in and cook in this thing, I mean, obviously I can use it as a mixer and I can use it as a food processor and a blender. But to say that I can just jump in and start cooking, like actually cooking with this, it's going to take me a minute because I've got to learn, right, how to use this thing. So here's our cooking chef, and let's do the big reveal. Wow. Sweet. Um, yeah. Wow. That's all I got to say is wow. I mean, look at this baby. Look at the... I don't know what all these controls are. I'm assuming this is like the speed because these are like stirring speeds. And this, for when you're cooking, this is mixing speeds. This is your temperature and all that fun stuff. Holy cow. So let's take this up. Yeah. And there's a few things in here. I think the steamer is in here. Here's our power cord. Steamer, like we can make some rice in here? 
No, like you can steam vegetables, you can steam salmon, all that kinds of stuff. Um, put a couple of corns on the cob in here. So here is the steaming basket. And the instructions said it was like two pieces. Um, there's like a plastic piece on here that comes off. And then, oh man, you can put some little artichokes in here. What do you think about that, Bill? Mm. Yeah. Artichoke season comes around. You guys eat artichokes? I love them. Okay. I don't know how to get that back on. So let's see, here's the bowl. Wow, this thing is a beast. It's a seven quart bowl. Holy cow. Um, let me get this tag off. So it's a seven quart bowl. Um, has all your uh, attachments here. The beater, the whisk, the dough hook, the stirring tool, and the flex beater. Um, whew. Lord, I can tell you this, everything about this machine is first class. Absolutely everything, including all the manuals, the cookbook, everything about this machine is first class. But you also have to remember this came out as a $2,000 machine. So for $2,000, it better be first class, huh? Here's our bowl. And I guess this is our induction base. And here's, this is induction ready. And, um, wow. This is incredible. So, I guess we'll put that on here. And what do you guys want to put on here? Look at the size of this. Look at the beater. Pure 100% stainless steel. Why isn't KitchenAid doing this? I keep saying this when we when we did the um, the chef titanium chef that we have, and I'm like, why isn't KitchenAid giving us tools like this? I just I don't get it. When I called them about why they keep giving these burnished beaters, they gave me some. Oh well, you know that's how they like them in a commercial setting, and I'm like, why would a commercial setting like that, right? So there is our Wow. Can I just say, wow. Wow. Um, wow. <laughs> so our hub. So you have a slow hub here on the front. I'm sure it comes off the same way as the titanium chef. I'm just backwards so I can't. So on the front here, you're gonna use your meat grinder, your, um, your uh, grater slicer, all that fun stuff. That is a slow hub. These are faster hubs. So back here you have two. One's for the food processor and one's for the blender. So let's get the food processor. I believe that goes on this one. It usually does. So you put that on there, you put your food processor on there, put your blade, I still have these things on here, Ooh. Ooh. I didn't put your blade on there, wow, put your lid on here. And
That was the very first. These are stir speeds for the thing. So that's our very first look. Who we'll put on the blender goes on this one. The blender, blender. That's how those work. Huh. Wow. Okay, we've attached a beater and we're gonna lower it down. And we're going to So when you use this thing as a cooker, you're going to put this on here and I'm not a hundred percent sure how this totally works. Um, I know it works with this thing. I don't have that on there the right way. I don't know how tight that fits gonna be, Amy. You might need some soapy water on it or something. That goes on there. Wait a minute. I don't know how this thing goes. <laughs> okay, so when you do the cooker, you're gonna use this and the heat shield. I have to figure this out because I have absolutely no idea how to use that. I will figure that out though, and we're gonna do a video on using the heating function. I can tell you that this is pulse and this is... And this is a pulse button. Whoa! Well, that's not a timer, maybe. It has a timer, mainly because it's a cooker, right? So this is going to set your temperature up to 285 degrees. Um, you're going to, that's your timer up and down. But it also keeps track of how long you've been running the thing, because you've been running it for 46 seconds, so it knows. Yeah. Didn't the other thing um, do that too? It doesn't like... If you want to use it as a cooker, this heat shield has to be on there, otherwise you're going to get an error code. Um, wow. <laughs> it's called the Cooking Chef Major. Yeah. Wow. It's major. So, cooks, if you're interested in taking a look at the Kenwood um, Cooking Chef, I'll put a link down in the description. I need to test this thing out, like the cooking feature, just to get a feel for how this thing works. But I think the very thing, first thing we're going to try to do in here is some risotto. So I'm going to play around with that a little bit to get familiar with how the cooking function works on it. We're going to do our full regular test and review. We're going to use the whip. We're going to use the paddle and the dough hook. But we're also going to do a video on using the cooking functions as well as using some of the accessories. So stay tuned for that. Let me know what you think in the comments about the Kenwood Cooking Chef. I'm really happy to have this. I can't believe I got an unbelievable price on this thing, and um, I'm ready to get going with it. If you like this video, please subscribe below, leave me a comment and a like, visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook. I'm at Facebook, I'm at facebook.com slash groups slash Amy Learns to Cook, and on Instagram, I'm at cooking with Amy. Uh, use the right tool for the job. Right tool for the job. Here ye, here ye, your bail's been paid. We're freeing the... Yes. The bail on the mixer's been paid. Let's get this baby out. <laughs>